Chris, what is our fifth main topic today? This comes from Grant Olson. Hey, John and crew. I know it didn't get amazing reviews, but I really liked Eternals. There wasn't an announcement for it for Phase 5, but I was hoping maybe we'd get a sequel for it in Phase 6. Well, on the Today Show, Patton Oswalt straight up said there will be a sequel and Chloe Zhao will be directing. Usually Marvel keeps things super secret, but this seems pretty direct and seems pretty much like this is confirmed and probably will be announced at D23. What are your guys' thoughts? Thanks and have a marvelous day. All right, thanks a lot for sending that in. And yeah, listen, Eternals was one of these films where, I mean, listen, my expectations were through the roof. There were whispers that it was going to be Marvel's best film ever and all that kind of stuff. And so when that was the type of expectations I went in with. And frankly, the movie does not live up to those expectations. But it is still a good movie. I, I mean, I watched it again recently when I was flying back home to Canada and it was one of the movies on flight. And I watched it and I'm like, you know, this is actually pretty good. Uh, not top shelf MCU by any stretch, but I actually enjoyed it more the second and third time I watched it. I think Rob felt the same. I think actually Rob likes the movie a little bit more than I do. But I quite liked it. And of course, they said the Eternals will return. The questions become when and where. And like you said, when Comic-Con came and went and there was like no mention of Eternals 2, a lot of people, myself included, started wondering, well, are they going to do it? I mean, they planned to do it. But like Mike Tyson said, everybody's got a plan until you get punched in the mouth. And Eternals didn't do as well as a Marvel film is accustomed to getting with critic reviews. It didn't do as well at the box office as Marvel films are accustomed to getting at the box office. Maybe they're changing their mind. Well, forget that because apparently Patton Oswalt, uh, he just kind of let the, uh, the, the it, it out of the bag. This comes from the folks over at Screen Rant wrote the following. Earlier on Wednesday, the Today Show shared a short clip from an interview with Oswald. The conversation is largely taken up by Oswald explaining the end credit scene of Eternals and the character he plays. But he takes a surprising turn at the end. He says, they have announced that there's going to be an Eternal sequel. Chloe Zhao is going to direct it. And then he goes on to say, I really hope it gives us more of a chance to get more into his character, Pip and uh, Star Fox, the brother of Thanos, and all that kind of stuff. And it's like, is Patton under the impression that at Comic-Con they did announce it? Or did he just let something out of the bag? But it wasn't a question. It wasn't speculation. When you watch the clip, it's not him hoping that... No, he said, no, they're, they're doing it. And Chloe Zhao, Academy Award-winning director Chloe Zhao, is coming back to direct it. And, and that's that. We're getting an Eternals 2. I love this. If for no other reason, I want to see a lot more uh, Makari and, uh, oh, what? Uh, Drig? Drig. Yeah. I want to see more Makari, uh, Makabi oh my and gosh, Drig. gosh, their chemistry is amazing. They, I hate romantic couples in comic book movies with very, very few exceptions. Andrew Garfield and Emma Stone, uh, Tony and Pepper. This is one I adored and I loved. Uh, and I loved all the characters in the movie as well. So when you got something like this, by the way, Rob keeps bringing it up, but it's true. The planet Earth now has this giant man coming out of it. And no Marvel project has even mentioned it yet. Oh, yeah, by the way, what was it? The Indian Ocean? Is that where they said it was? Anyway, one of the big oceans has this giant continent-sized man half coming out of it. And nobody's mentioned it in anywhere in the MCU. So it'll be interesting to see if there's any fallout from that. Oh, yeah, and also a giant celestial god appeared in the sky and said, I'm going <laughs> to come back and judge mankind. No. Yeah. Nobody's Nobody noticed. It. Nobody, Nobody mentioned noticed. it in the MCU yeah. so far. So it'll be interesting to see where they go from that. Anyway, Chris, uh, you see this. Did Patton Oswalt just kind of let the cat out of the bag? I mean, I wouldn't put it past him. He's king of the geeks. He loves he is, Marvel yeah. so much. And you know what? If Patton says it, I believe it. I'm here for it. I still think that his pitch from Parks and Rec should happen. I loved that epic oh, crossover gosh, filibuster. One of the most iconic things ever. So good. So good. And I really, I really just want to see him do this character more, right? I want more Pip. Instead of just that little tag in there, I want to see him using his global tracking and his humor and strength and all this stuff. Uh, superhuman strength, rather. Um, I think I think we need to explore the Eternals more because of those cosmic consequences. It feels like the MCU right now is a John Mulaney bit, right? Where they see the Celestial and they're like, well, being an adult's already fucking weird enough. This might as well happen. <laughs> uh, this is fine. So I really think we need we need a little more time in that version of the MCU so we can figure out what the heck is going on and why people aren't reacting. I, I will say this too. While I liked the post credit scene, Pip showing up and, and uh, Star Fox showing mm -hmm. up and all that kind of stuff. Because you love Harry Styles. Uh, oh, I'm all about Harry Styles. Mm. Mm, watermelon sugar. Is that the right guy? Uh, yeah. Okay, you watermelon got it. sugar. See, I, didn't, I wasn't even sure. <laughs> I will say this though. I didn't even know that. The CGI 
on PIP was awful. I mean, it was circa 2005 CGI. I, I thought he looked terrible. So, I mean, maybe that's Was that because... the picture that was up when we were reading? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Can what we bring it? up? Face? Yeah, there he is. Um, I mean, as a still, it doesn't look so bad. It doesn't look so terribly bad as a still. That's Pat Oswalt, though? There's that's no that's the there. CGI that's character that he's yeah, doing the voice for. he's doing for. motion capture. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I, I, I was I like, thought, that's pretty good makeup, though. <laughs> watching, oh, if that was makeup, it would be pretty good. I was like, wow, that didn't even really look like him at all. But I thought, I, I just thought the, the uh, animation of it, the look of it didn't look great. It, it kind of felt like, this was kind of a rush thing for a post credit scene. Yeah. It felt like a little bit to me. Uh, of course, the other post credit scene in Eternal setting up Blade with the Black Knight. That was that was damn. epic. Very excited oh, about man. that. So anyway, Aaron Patton Oswalt's on the Today Show and he drops without the Marvel laser pointers on him. He drops that. It, it, yeah, they are doing it. Chloe's now is directing it. All that kind of stuff. What do you think? Make of that? Okay, so there's two. There's two things that I. First of all, that's a clear example. If this was a slip up, that is a clear example of how how it, it is challenging to do a live show. I mean, we're doing it right now and we've had moments where, you know, the camera will cut and then John will come over and he'll have to slap us and be like, you know, <laughs> it's, I mean, he's a You can't guy. say that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, we've had moments and then there have also been times where we've had brain farts that right in the middle of saying something, all of a sudden you forget what you're saying, but you're live and there's yep. potentially hundreds of thousands or millions of people watching depending on what's going on. And sometimes you just get really excited and stuff just comes out. And I mean, wh wh isn't it Tom Holland that just keeps on? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tom oh, Holland's yeah. notorious for that. Yeah. Yeah. And so I He's think the Robert Meyer Burnett of the MCU. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just... <laughs> Tom Holland is the Robert Meyer Burnett That's of the MCU. Does. Yeah. I feel bad he that a big so guy's not here. He's so happy to share stuff. Yeah. Oh, my God. I can't wait for Robert to get here to share that with him. That's amazing. Um, <laughs> yes. So there are these slip ups that do happen at the same time on these shows like the Today Show. They are. It is so boom, boom, boom right before I me. Mean, I haven't done the Today Show, but I have done live interviews for you know various broadcasts. And what they do is they do a pre interview where they specifically go, OK, these are some of our p potential questions. They right, ask you a bunch of yeah. questions. You answer all those questions. And then depending on which answers they find the most interesting, they go, oh, they later come back and they go, okay, these are the three questions we're going to ask you, you know, just kind of retell those stories that you told us in your pre-interview. That's why all those comedians on the late night shows, they just really have that funny, oh, uh, you were driving the other day. Do you like driving? And then all of a sudden they have this great joke. Yeah, that's why is because they've done a pre-interview. Mm -hmm. So there's that number one. Um, so they stick it's not a script, but they stick to the topic at hand in these interviews. And I feel like what was what was the question? Oh, he just kind of brought up like Eternal Suit. Like they they asked like you're, you're going to be in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and then he brought up well, I I, I am Pip in in this. And we did this, and Pip and he starts going on in a very Pat Nels way. Pip, see, you go back to the origins of his character. Blah blah blah. blah. So whenever he has a space gem, then he can do this. But sometimes he can do metamorphosis, and he has this, and without a Morlock, yeah. So then they they dragged him back, but but you know with Eternals, he said, yeah, well they've announced that we are doing Eternals too. Chloe Zhao is going to be doing it, so that was well. So that that so if that's the case though, like they. A lot of times those shows, especially like the Today Show, which is not supposed to be salacious or like pulling things out of people, that was probably a question that was pre-planned on the part of the publicity team. Maybe. Because his publicist is there with him. His publicist met him at the studio. They did a, you know, they talked about everything. And then they said, okay, these are the questions we're going to ask. And the publicist is sitting there off camera, like nodding or shaking their heads. So I don't think that this was a slip up. This may have been an intentional release from you know as a way of like you know releasing a little easter egg and seeing how people respond so what's the response we'll see all right guys question is for you what do you think about this will Patton oswald turn up dead in a ditch somewhere with some marvel shaped bullets in him <gasps> or was this a planned thing was it an accidental slip i don't know what do you guys think whatever your thoughts are jump down into the comment section below and leave us your thoughts we want to take a second to thank the sponsor of this video, 
Peacock's new series, The Resort. In Peacock's must-see new series, there's more than just trouble in paradise. There's a flip phone, a disappearance, and a suspiciously timed hurricane. The Resort, a new Peacock original from the creators of Palm Springs and Mr. Robot, is an unexpected exploration of how love, marriage, and family can be a real trip. When a couple finds an old flip phone in the jungle on an anniversary getaway, they are unknowingly pulled into an unsolved mystery, a bizarre case that went cold 15 years prior when a once-in-a-century storm wiped away all the evidence. This journey through the Mayan Riviera will take you from the edge of your seat to the depths of human experience and back again. Starring William Jackson Harper, Kristen Milioti, Luis Gerardo Mendez, and Nick Offerman, The Resort is streaming now only on Peacock.